Hey guys, so I just want to do a cool speed comparison here between Galaxy S9 and iPhone X uh, to see which one is the quicker device here. So we do have the latest flagship from Samsung versus Apple's latest handset. Uh, Going to be very close, I think, because they're both running like the best process you can get. Uh, but you know, place your bets here. Who is going to be supreme? We're going to start them up at the same time. And we do get the Exynos in the uh, European Samsung, so do you bear that in mind. Oh, iPhone X. iPhone X, you see. I'm converting to Apple, I think, this year, the way Android's going, definitely. I mean, look at that. That was a beautiful boot up by the iPhone X. I might as well end the video right now. Uh, but nevertheless, you know, there are some other areas here that we can check out. So we have updated both of them to the latest uh, software here. And uh, we do have some apps on there. Let's have a look how the apps opening is starting off. Uh, so let's just open up a few basic ones. And see if we can see any differences. And we do have booking. So I think the first one went to the Samsung and then we do go to the Apple and let's try this one. Ooh, which one, which one? Wow, that was about the same, couldn't really see to be honest. Uh, let's try, what else do we have? We have Pinterest, go. Ooh, Samsung again. 2-1 and we do have Deliveroo Ooh, Apple this time 2-2 two, two. back and forth so which one haven't I done let's just check so I think uh, I think it's, it's Sonos I've not done let's try that one probably done that one uh, let's try some games here Let's try FIFA. Go. So, wow, that was literally identical, I think. I couldn't see a difference there. Both of them ready to play very quickly. And we do have this, the annoying kind of way you get out of it in the iPhone X. Which I still can't get used to. Oh, look at that. Samsung coming back. So I think we're on, is it 3-1? Something like that. To Samsung. I uh, gotta hand it to Sammy here. They're doing pretty well. Samsung again. 4-1. Where's the iPhone X? Where's the 1,000 euro performance? Let's try Reef. Oh, I think that was the iPhone coming back there. So 4-2, uh, which uh, I think that is quite conclusive, that one. How do I get out of it? I don't know. I'm not an iPhone user. There we go. Uh, so I think uh, we can try some basic stuff. Let's try this one. Oh, I think that was the iPhone. So 4-3. Camera, very important. Let's go. So I think that was the iPhone again, 4.4. Four. Gonna be very strict there. App Store, go. iPhone again, 4.5, I think. Is that it? Yeah, 4.5. I think that is an amazing comeback here from iPhone. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to give this to the iPhone here, it's just pipped the Galaxy right at the end. And it's not because I hate the Galaxy, it's because, you know, this is a fair testing procedure. So we're just going to go to the speed test uh, to see the raw performance here. So can we get a similar server? Yes we can. 
Oh, they changed the app here. It looks pretty nice. Well, kind of time as well. They've had the same interface for ages. And what can we get with iPhone X? Oh, it's you nearly got to 200 then. Nearly. And it just missed the mark. So I have seen it get 200 before. Maybe not having the best of days. Uh, look at the battery drain on the Galaxy S9. Latest handset from Sammy Boy. I mean, 59%. I barely used it. Definitely want minimum 3,500 mAh next time. Come on, Sammy. Or even 4,000. That would be awesome. Mate 10 Pro, you know, 4,000 mAh. Never lose. What is this? 132. That is a terrible score, Sammy Boy. We're going to give it another chance because, you know, if it doesn't perform, it's going back in the box. It is going back in the box. I haven't backed in the box for quite a while, actually. Uh, but it's going to be wrapped up and sent back to Sammy Boy because they forgot to include the alien technology this year. I mean, what is this? For 40, I definitely got it on the, the proper Wi-Fi as well, you know. I'm not trying to, you know, misrepresent uh, Sammy Boy here. 5G. So that is pretty lame. You know, I might as well end the video here. I think iPhone X has uh, dominated in pretty much everything, you know. Do we want to do memory management? You know, I dread to think. I really do. Let's see. Let's go back to the the uh, front here. So we have booking, no reload, very comparable here. How do I do it again? You know I was going to struggle because it's so unintuitive on the iPhone. Uh, but we are learning, as you can see. Oh, it's gone. There we go. It's back again and Pinterest will reload or maybe that was just an app freeze I don't know how iOS works maybe you do uh, but I'm not seeing any reloads on Android which is what you know is the main thing here which is quite good uh, it looks like the 4 gigs of RAM isn't a massive problem let's try some games here so it's the f try the fish game and that one goes straight back into it, no reload uh, very nice indeed and another one so FIFA we do have again straight in there so it looks like uh, the memory management is probably the only really good thing on the S9 at the moment uh, which uh, you know is, is acceptable I will accept it but if you see iPhone X still seems to go into it faster uh, with its meager 3 gigs of RAM uh, let's just try the last one so we do have granny see instant in there uh, so I'm going to crown iPhone X the winner here, you know, I don't like the usability, I think it's horrible, but in terms of the raw performance, way ahead of Samsung still in 2018, and I think we are on the verge of some new iPhones as well, so, you know, definitely excited for them. Uh, Samsung definitely needs to step up its game, look at that battery drain, it's not good at all. Uh, hope you found the video helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.